Turn up, I saw my soul a good price out of sight in my whole guy talent. So I've been playing a lot of ones recently and while it is a game mode that really gets to me sometimes, it's also the one I go to whenever I want to seriously sit down and try and improve my game. So here are my 5 quick tips to help you improve your skills in ones. Number 1 is kickoff. Firstly, you're going to want to learn a few good kickoff techniques. I'm not going to give you a tutorial on that today as there's a bit much to explain but there are plenty of great ones out there, and there's a good one from Johnny Boy that I used when I started out. The amount of goals that come from a kickoff in a ones game is ridiculous, and you'll often find that whoever concedes multiple kickoffs tends to tilt hard. Don't let this person be you. Learn a good kickoff. Number 2. Demolitions Players have this weird theory that you shouldn't demo your opponent in ones because it makes you a bad player or that you aren't playing fairly. Demolitions are in the game to be used, not to be avoided. There can also often be the difference between winning or losing considering when you demo a player they are out of the game entirely for a few seconds. Use this to your advantage to take the player out to give yourself either an easy goal, an easy save, or just some time to prepare yourself again. Number 3. Commitment Over committing to the ball is more than likely the reason why you get scored on the majority of the time. Patience is key in a game of ones. Don't rush your opponent the entire time and flip towards the ball without properly thinking about where this could leave you if you miss. You don't want to be pushing the ball when it's in the back corner of your opponent's side of the field. It's far too easy for the opponent to push it over you and up the wall, or for you to hit the ball and have it bounce off the back wall sending it towards your goal for the other player to tap in. Take your time to think a few steps ahead and make sure that every touch you make on the ball counts. Number 4. Staying close to the ball Speaking of making every touch count, staying close to the ball is one of the key aspects of doing well in ones. If you spend the whole game hitting the ball away the first chance you get, you'll spend a lot of time hitting the ball upfield only to have your opponent easily control it and dribble it up towards you for an easier shot. By staying close to the ball, your offense greatly improves because you can carry the ball up either by dribbling or bounce dribbling the ball for a nicer, more powerful shot, which will give the opponent less time to react. On the defensive side, staying close lets you shadow defend the other player and limits where they can shoot the ball, but also giving you more opportunities to cut off the attack early. Lastly, number five is don't quit. Anything can happen in a ones game. I've had many games where I've been down three or four goals with one minute left and have gone on to win the game. The thing is, once you start making a comeback, the opponent begins to get worried. They start slipping up and making small mistakes that you can then capitalize on. Considering you can also score back-to-back -back kickoff goals over and over if you have a good kickoff means you could easily pull back a losing game by keeping calm and sticking to what you know. So that's my video for today, I hope it helps some of you work on your ones game. If I did miss anything out that you want to leave in the comment section, feel free to do so. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe so you keep updated with future content. That is everything for me today, I'll see you next time.